All right, guys, Miss Cider's here with our next reader. Can you guess who it is? Can you guess? Oh, let's see if you're right. <gasps> it's Miss Nail! All right, here we go. Hello, folks. I get to read the chapter, The No Good Rotten Recess. And I have to admit, I have not read this chapter yet, so I'm going to be learning about it along with you all. So are we ready? Here we go. On Thursday, Mrs. D announced, everyone take out your science books and turn to page 67. Stink lugged the heavy book out of his desk and he opened up to page 67. Stink could not believe his eyes. Hey, he said looking around, Mrs. D, something's not right. Somebody wrote all over my science book, called someone else, me too, me three. Somebody crossed out all the Plutos, shouted Stink, looking around at all the other boys and girls. Boys and girls, said Mrs. D, let's just keep calm. And she walked around the room, up and down the aisles, looking at everyone's book. Oh my, the evil sights. Book fairy strikes again, cried Sophie of the elves. Anti-Pluto goblins are on the loose, said Webster. Now class. You know we don't go around writing in textbooks. Would anyone like to tell me who did this? Yeah, whoever did this sure is rotten, said Stink, and he glared over at Riley. Okay, okay, said Riley, I did it. Riley, you know better than this. What were you thinking? Well, Pluto's not a planet anymore, so I crossed it out when everyone was at recess. I thought we agree and we would hold a debate on Friday. Well, we did, but I had to do something even if you've already taken sides. No one's taken any sides, said Mrs. D, and I'm leaving it up to you all. Class 2D will debate and decide for themselves fair and square. Then why are you driving all over town getting everyone in the whole world to hunt for Pluto? Mrs. D looked confused. Heather Strong pointed out the window at a little blue mini parked outside Miss Dempster's, I'm sorry, Miss Dempster's little blue mini. Mrs. D leaned and she peered out that window at a mysterious bumper sticker on her car that read, Honk if you love Pluto. She could not keep from smiling. So that's why everybody's been honking at me since yesterday. See, said Riley, I rest my case. Riley. I didn't know anything about it until just now, and I think we may have a bumper sticker banded in class 2D. I bet his name is Stink Moody, said Riley, pointing. Stink, asked Miss D. Do you know anything about this? I might, said Stink. Okay, I did it. Boys and girls, I know we're all enthusiastic about the subject of Pluto, but you better, uh, but you know better than going around writing in school books and stinking bumper stickers on cars without asking permission. Riley, Stink, I'm disappointed in you both. Sorry, said Stink. Sorry, said Riley. Stink, first of all, I'm going to need you to go peel that bumper sticker at recess. It's just a magnet, said Stink. It's not even stuck. Miss D nodded, and you, Riley, are going to spend recess erasing all the marks in the books. This was going to be a no good rotten recess, the rottenness. Stink zoomed around the room desk by desk, and he erased book after book after book, and he piled a bracer, or he made a pile of eraser crumbs, a blizzard of eraser crumbs, a mountain of eraser crumbs, and glancing across the room at Riley, Stink asked, did you know that before they had a rubber for erasers, they actually used breadcrumbs? Riley didn't say a word. Uh, did you know that the eraser was invented more than 200 years ago? Riley didn't say a word. Stink erased some more. How many erasers do you think it would take to circle the planet Earth? Stink Moody, you are so e-knowing. Annoying? Is that annoying with that eraser? Stink laughed at his own joke. FYI, Mr. Racerhead, annoying is extremely annoying. And did you know that and learn that at space camp? For your info, it's none of your beeswax. I don't think these people are following Catching Kids Hearts sidebar. Back to the book. I was never in trouble before, and now I'm in trouble, and I have to stay in at recess, and it's all because of you, Stink Moody. 
I'm not the one who scribbled all of the science books, and I don't know why or even see why you hate Pluto so much. What did Pluto ever do to you? Don't you get it, said Riley. You're just like Pluto. Why? Because I'm short? I have gas? What? Rotten Riley, queen of space camp, looked like an oort cloud about to explode. No, because you're always crossing my orbit. Okay, okay, said Stink. You don't have to go all asteroid on me, wicked wormworms. Sometimes Riley Rottenberger was just plain extraterrestrial maximum warp speed supernova annoying. And then they have a little picture. I don't know if you can see the picture. Now, although I love Stink Books and it has been thoroughly enjoying, I think they need to go back to their social contract and review that because that's not how we're going to talk to each other at good old Cindy Diener. And that's not how we talk to our Diener family. So, boys and girls, I hope you're enjoying the book. Um, and it is. It's been very entertaining. I loved reading to you all. Hope you have a good night.